What's going on everyone? In this video, we're going to be creating some button roles using Discord JS. So if you're not familiar with what button roles are, basically we have a message that looks something like this and it has a bunch of buttons for each specific role. In our case, we have a button for the red role, a button for the green role, a button for the blue role. Now I already have the blue role, so I'm going to get rid of it. And now let's try to click on one of the roles and our bot is gonna first think, and then it's gonna give us the role. Now, the good thing about this is it's gonna first check your role, and it's gonna see if you have the role that you're trying to add. If you already have the role, it's going to remove it. So in this case, I have the green role. If I click on it, it's gonna go ahead and remove the role. So inside our code, I've gone ahead and deleted all the previous event listeners, including the interaction create and message create event listener. What I have here is just the ready event listener and it's console logging whenever our bot comes online. Now I'm gonna try and split the logic into a different file. So inside our source folder, let's create a new file called Called send message.js. This file is going to be responsible for sending the initial message with all the buttons. So what we can do is we can come here and copy this entire thing and paste it in this file. Now let's define all the roles that we want added in our button. So we can say const roles and we can open an array. It's going to take an array of objects. Each object is going to have the ID, which is going to be the ID of the role that you're trying to add. So I can go to my server settings, go to roles and whatever roles that you guys want to add, just right click and copy ID. And I'm going to paste it here as a string. And the next thing that we want to add is a label. So we can say a label. And basically what the label is going to be is the text on your button. In this case, this ID belongs to the red role. So inside the label, I'll just call this red. Now what we can do is duplicate this and do the same for green. So copy the ID and change the label to green. We can copy this again and do the same for blue. Once that's done, what we want to do is send the message once our bot comes online. So I'm going to remove this console.log and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a try catch block. And if there is an error, let's just console log that. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get the channel where we want to send the message. So let's say const channel equals await. And since we're using await, we're going to have to add async over here. And what we're going to say is client.channels.cache.get. And inside, we're going to paste the ID of the channel where we want to send the message. In our case, it's going to be bot testing. So I'm just going to right click and copy the ID. Once that's done, let's check if the channel actually exists. So we can say if not channel, then we can return. Basically, the code won't run any further if this channel does not exist. The next thing that we can do is define the row of buttons that is going to go into our message. So we can say const row equals new and action row builder. And this is going to be imported from Discord JS. For now, we don't really have anything inside the row. So let's go ahead and add it. What we're going to do is we're going to loop through all the roles inside this array and we're going to push it to this role builder. So let's say roles for each and each role is going to be called role. And what we'll do is we'll push a component inside this row for every single role that we have. So we can say row.components.push. And what this will take is a new button builder, which again will be imported from Discord JS. Now let's chain on a few methods. So the first one is going to be the custom ID. So we can say dot set custom ID. And this custom ID is going to be the ID that we have inside here. So we can say role dot ID. We can chain another method which will be dot set label. And as I said, the label is the text that is going to go on the button. So we can say role dot label. And the next thing is the style of your button. So we can say dot set style. And in this case, we're going to import something from Discord JS again. This is going to be called button style. Then we can say dot and you have access to all of these styles. In my case, I'm just going to go with primary. I believe danger is red, success is green, and I'm not sure about the rest. So I'm just going to go for primary, which is blue. The next thing that we want to do is we want to send this message into a channel. So let's say channel, which is this channel right here, channel dot send. And we're going to pass an object where the content is going to be claim or remove a role below. 
And then we're going to also pass in components, which is going to be an array of all the different rows that you're adding. If you're not familiar, basically each row can have a maximum of five buttons. So what you can do is you can just add your row over here. If you have more than five rows, then I suggest you create a new row for every five rows that you have. Once that is done, let's just save the file. Matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say await channel.send. And once the message is sent, we're going to exit out of this file. So we can say process.exit. So let's run this file by saying node source slash send message.js. Once it is done, it's going to close out of the file. And if we go to Discord, we're going to see a new message with all the buttons. Now, of course, the buttons don't really do anything because we haven't added any logic. So let's go to index.js and let's start adding our logic over here. Now, because a button click is an interaction, we're going to have to listen for the interaction create event listener. So let's say client.on interaction create, and this will give us access to interaction. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to check if the interaction was a button. So we can say if interaction dot is button. And if you have other slash commands, then I recommend you open curly brackets and write all your code in here. However, since I don't have any slash commands, I can just return early and I can negate the value of this. Now, the next thing that we want to do is we want to get the role that was associated with that button. So let's say const role equals interaction dot guild dot roles dot cash dot get. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the custom ID from our interaction. So let's say interaction dot custom ID. Now let's check if the role actually exists in the server because it is possible that the owner might have deleted the role. So we can say if not role, then we can reply to the interaction by saying interaction dot reply content. And inside the content, we can say I couldn't find that role. We can also set ephemeral to true. So only the person who ran the interaction can see the message. Now, one thing I'm thinking of doing is actually just removing this and deferring a reply. So we can say await interaction dot defer reply. And this will give our users the message that the bot is thinking. And because we're doing a bunch of things, I recommend you do this because we're using await. We're also going to have to put async over here and inside over here. What we can do is we can edit reply instead of reply and we can get rid of ephemeral because we're going to be adding it in defer reply. So in Inside this just pass an object that says ephemeral is true now if the role was not found we don't want the code to continue any further so we can just say return over here and the code won't go any further now let's check if the person running the interaction has the role or not because based on that we can either give the person the role or remove the role so let's say const has role and this is going to check if the person has the role so we can say interaction dot member dot roles dot cash dot has and what we're going to do is we're going to pass in this role but we have to pass in the id now we can say if has role now we can run some code if the person has the role so let's say await interaction dot member dot roles dot remove and we're going to remove the role because the person already has the role and what we'll do is we'll reply with interaction dot edit reply and we're going to say the role has been removed and of course we can return because that's really all we have to do if the person has the role however the code below this is only going to run if the person does not have the role which means we have to add it so let's say await interaction dot member dot roles dot add and we're going to add the role this time we can also do the same thing that we did here and we can change this to add it. Now this should work, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut this entire thing and I'm going to put this inside a try catch block. So if there's an error, we can just console log the error and we can paste all our code inside the try block and save our file. Now let's go ahead and try running our main file and let's test our bot. When our bot comes online, we can go back to the server and try clicking, let's say red. Our bot starts thinking and it will add the red role. If we click on it again, you'll notice that the role is going to be removed and it says the role red has been removed. Basically, this will work with all the other buttons as well. So I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, then make sure to give it a like. If you guys need help or have any sort of questions, I have a Discord server, which I'll have the link to down below. So make sure to join. And yeah, if you guys are enjoying my content, make sure to subscribe. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.